Tell me, Mr. Goat, have you succeeded in learning the Flippendo spell? Oh, hi, Mr. Snape. Yeah, all, all I had to do was to build a bot that can follow your example and do exactly the same with a bit of guidance. Hmm, maybe I should learn some of that wizardry. So before getting to the nitty gritty and telling you how I solved the problem, let's first define what the problem is. I don't expect you guys to know this game because it came such a long time ago. There are different professors that teach you the spells. They uh, do a highlight the spell first to learn the spell in the game. What you need to do is trace the spell symbol with your cursor. And then for each individual spell you have a pass mark. For the first one is 50, I think, 65, 80, and then 95. We have the teacher doing a demo phase in which he draws the spell using gray circles. We will need to do something to get the X and Y coordinates such that we will be able to move the mouse cursor. And I think that something will be either a machine learning approach or an old computer vision approach. Please bear with me like two more minutes so I can explain to you why we need to go with the old school computer vision approach rather than using machine learning. Okay, so how a machine learns is that you have to give it a lot of examples. Given the video that I just showed you, we have to get each individual frame and then manually label that for each and every frame, this is the coordinate at which your mouse is supposed to be at. And then you give the examples to a machine to learn from and it will tweak its internal parameters, which are the convolutions and whatever fully connected blah 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 feature extraction part, such that for a given input frame, it will predict your X and Y coordinates. For our specific use case, what we can do is design by hand these convolutional layers and then extract the features using some Python functions. By doing this, we will be... To be exempt from something. Doing this will be exempt of the hustle that it is to manually label all those 3000, 4000 frames and we can actually have it way, way faster. So there are a few steps we need to go through. First, we have to read the video. Or this, run this, okay? And the video is comprised out of multiple frames, but this is one of the frames. The next step is to compute the frame difference. The teacher actually tells us where the cursor should be on the screen, because at each frame he draws a new gray circle on the screen. All we have to do is to make the difference between two consecutive frames, and that should give us the position of the cursor. There is a small problem with the difference approach. Thing is, in the image there is not only the circles that are moving, but also the teacher. Which means that we have some artifacts here that we need to clean up. As an example, this is what the image looks like before and after the cleaning. We see now less artifacts from the professor while still maintaining the colors from the circle. The next step is for us to extract the circle and then get the center of the circle which we will use as our X and Y coordinates. The next step is for us to take the centers for all the circles and add them to a list. We will then use that list to move our cursor and cast the spell. However, there are some cases in which the circles are not identified correctly due to artifacts in the frame. Even though I tried to come up with weird formulas, the best way to do it is to just manually go through all the circles and remove those that you don't like. Now that we have all the points, the only thing left for us is to select the region where we want to draw and if everything went well, we just cast the spell. It was the brush. Yada yada, everything went well, we cast a spell. Ta-da! And that's it! Boom bam, thank you ma'am, we're done! Don't forget to like and subscribe if you need the code, I've left the link in the description. See you next time!